Okay, so now we have created our database and we have tried to uh, insert some record in it and read it out. So now we can actually start working in Unity towards actually reading the data, the data from the database into Unity, uh, into your Unity game. Um, right now, you should have a asset folder that looks something like this. You should have your high score DB inside your asset folder, and you should have your plugins folder with mono game and uh, mono data. SQLite and system data and if you're using 32 bit you should also have one more SQLite free um, file here. Okay, we need to um, create a new folder for our scripts first of all. So just click in your asset folder, right click and create a new folder and call it scripts. Inside this folder we will have to create a new script and this script is going to manage uh, our database and our high scores. Um, so basically we can either call it database manager or high score manager. Um, I think I'm simply gonna call it high score manager. So right click to create a new C sharp script and call it high score manager. So this is going to be the script that is going to handle all our high scores. Um, create a new empty game object up here in your hierarchy by clicking create and create empty and this is going to be our high score manager and we can simply take the high score manager script and apply it to the high score manager so that we have it in our scene so that we don't forget it later um, then we will need to open up the script um, I'm just gonna import some tools here so I can open the script so just yeah, open the script by double clicking on it. And when your script is open, we can start writing our code. So first of all, we will have to um, include the files we actually added to Unity because in here we have our plugins, monodata, and SQLite 3 and our system.data and we will need to be able to use them inside our scripts. So we have our using system, not static, but system, and we'll have to write using system.data and we'll have to write using mono.data.sqlite. Okay, that's what we need for now. So these includes the DLLs that we just added out there in our, um, our plugins folder so that we can use the functionality that is inside those DLL files because those DLL files are used whenever we need to connect to our database. So save this. Then we will have to create something called a connection string and the connection string is used whenever we need to connect to our database. And this connection string basically just tells our script where to look for the database so that it knows where the file is so that we can open it. So make a private string and call it connection string. And this connection string is going to be set inside our start function. So our connection string equals URI equals file and colon. So basically our connection string needs to know that it's a file that's gonna load. And we are simply gonna feed it the application dat data path. So plus application the data path. And this simply just gives this, um, what is called this connection string, the path in your folder where you have your Unity project. Well, this, uh, this means this will work when you apply it to any device um, or if you place your, your game anywhere on your computer. If we would start writing that this game is on um, C under a folder called games and so on, well then this wouldn't work if you move it to another computer or move it to another device or something. So to make sure that this works uh, on any device, we will use application.datapath. So when we have the application.datapath, well then we are inside the asset folder here. And to make sure that we access this high score DB, we'll have to write um, slash and then DB, uh, high score DB dot SQLite. So let's see here, plus slash 
db, nej, high score, db.sqlite. There we go. So we tell it that we need to load a file, we find the application data path, which is the folder, and then we point it towards the high score db sqlite. Okay. So what else do you want to do? Let's try to actually just load in, because right now we have in our manager here, we have um, a player named Joe. Let's see if we can actually uh, get him out of uh, and write him in a debug.log or something. So we need to create a new um, function and this function should simply just be called, um, yeah, what should we call it? Get scores or something, get score. So private void get scores so this one should load out the scores and first of all we need to create a um, database connection and we could do like idb um, let's see what's called idb connection i think this one and then called db connection and then equals new and so on uh, but when we are done using our database and stuff, we'll have to say db connection dot um, dispose, and we will have to say uh, db connection dot close to make sure that we close the connection to the database when we're done re reading from it. But we can actually make a structure so that it disposes it its uh, itself, um, and that's a using statement. And a using statement can be used on anything that is i disposable, which means that it has this dispose function on it. So basically, instead of calling uh, dispose on this connection all the time, we can simply say using, and then we can write idb connection, db connection equals um, new sqlite connection, and then give it the connection string. Right, there we go. So this is our connection string. So now we just created a connection to our database with an SQLite connection and we gave it the connection string here. Then we can say db connection.open because we always need to open it so that we can actually read the data. If it's not open then we will get an error when we try to read the data from it. Then we can say using yeah, let's just do like this using and then we can say idb command because we need to make a command um, before when we wrote this out here we made a command here and basically we need to do the same in um, in c sharp so that we can actually use this select all from high score in there so command db uh, db cmd equals db connection dot create command okay so now we are using the connection we have the connection to the database so we can communicate and we're using that connection to create a command so that we can execute some code there and then we're going to make a string called the sql query and we are going to make it equal to basically select all from scores like this there we go so this is basically the same query as we had out there and before we saw that it worked we tested it out here we ran the code and we got this returned here so we're sure that this code works so we can actually just paste it in here in the string then we need to give the um, the connection this uh, command text so we can just say um, the, no, the, the db command dot command text equals sql query so we created the query and now we are giving the command we're using to execute on the um, database we are telling it that we need to select all the high scores so now we can execute the command but we will need to create a reader so that we can read these things inside the uh, database so we can make using again an i data reader reader sorry i'm not going into depth with these different uh, classes here i might make a 
um, a database or SQLite tutorial later, but this tutorial is more about the uh, more about the high score. So I'm just uh, telling you like very um, very shortly about uh, these different things. So we have the data reader, and it's equal to our db command dot execute reader. So this db command execute reader simply just executes executes um, the command we just created and then it returns the result into the reader so the reader will contain this right now when we execute it okay so while our reader can read something so while our reader reads then we would like to say uh, debug.log for example and the reader is indexed by zero so Play ID is um, reader position zero, name is one, this is two, and this is three. So if you only wanted to get the name out, Joe, for example, we will have to say reader dot get, and we know that the name is a string, so we can say get string on position one. So now we will write out the name in the debug.log console. When we're done with this, we will have to close the connection and close the reader. So um, db connection dot close reader dot close. So now we're closing both of them, and we have to do that outside the while loop, of course, because we might want to read more records out. If we have hundred records, then we don't need to close the uh, just more than one record. Well, then we don't need to close the reader and the connection. Okay, let's try to save this and then we can simply just say in start after we've done this we can say get scores and save this so let's try to jump into unity and play the game and as you can see i got a debug.log that says joe and we can get all the other information out if you want to um, we can also get the score out. The score, where is that? It's on position 0, 1, 2. So on position 2. So if we wanted to get the score out, we could say reader plus reader dot get integer 32, I guess. Um, 2. Don't know if I need to convert this to a string. Nope. Okay. So now it's going to write Joe, but we would like a space in between, like this. Maybe we can make like a dash here. So if we run the game again, Joe 100. So we know Joe has 100 points. Um, and this is simply just the functionality we're writing now. We are, of course, going to do so that we can um, read into a high score that looks nicer. But right now we're just working with debug.log because it's the easiest way to test that stuff works. Okay, that was the get score, um, yeah, get score functionality. I am going to end this video here, and in the next video we are going to have a look at how we can insert scores in our uh, database from uh, C#.